Sanchez restaurant in the Mission District of San Francisco, it's not hard to discover, or in this case, taste, their secret to success. It's equal amounts of talent, perseverance, and a rich family tradition that begins and ends with their passion for food. And that passion actually began way back in the 1920s when the Sanchez family first moved to San Francisco. And then later on in the 1950s, they opened up the area's first Mexicatessen, where they began delivering their homemade tortillas by the hundreds to eager customers. It was the first tortilla factory in Northern California, over in the Fillmore District where the jazz, you know, the jazz district was. And then going along with everything, we had a jazz club slash tortilla factory, which was kind of interesting. Then we came here to the Mission District and started selling salsa back in the 70s. Jimmy the Corn Man is that guy right here. And he was created back in the 70s when um, everybody was going to the moon. There was a whole man on the moon trend. So that's how we put him on a rocket ship and it just, people just love the tat, you know, people got tattoos. We did a promotion here at the restaurant where if you tattoo the logo, Jimmy the Corn Man, you get free lunch for life. And from those humble beginnings to this, a thriving restaurant that is run by the next generation of the Sanchez family. Marta, her brother Bob, and nephew Robert look after the family business that continues to grow. In fact, because of the popularity of the restaurant, the family has been able to parlay their success in another way, into a line of products that is made at the Casa Sanchez headquarters in South San Francisco. They're making everything from chips to guacamole to tamales, and all are based on a steady supply of fresh California produce, like broccoli, corn, mushrooms, and cilantro. And just like their ancestors, the Sanchez family believes in everything being made from scratch with only the best ingredients. Everybody has their own philosophy, and for us it's always been the quality. We've always never compromised on that. You know, some businesses are into se selling a lot, some are into um, having the cheapest price. Our philosophy is having the happiest customer. So this is actually the beginning of the process where the corn is cooked. And while the tortillas and chips are a popular part of the business, the family's number one seller is actually their salsa which is still made from the original family recipe that utilizes fresh California-grown tomatoes that are slow-roasted to create an intense, spicy flavor. Today, Casa Sanchez Salsa is actually the number one selling fresh salsa brand on store shelves in California. And again, it's not hard to see, uh, I mean taste, why after you hear their family philosophy to making great food. There are a couple of reasons. One is because of the quality. California does have the best produce. A second thing is we want to get it as soon as possible. And we're fortunate that our factory is literally half an hour, an hour away from some of the best farms in, in the state. So it, it works for us. Um, and we also, we still hand pick a lot of the ingredients. So we like to see exactly what we're getting. We like to get to know who we're getting it from. And, and we're very involved from beginning to end. Of, of our product. And they don't have to look far to find their most prized ingredient in their family salsa recipe. All of the tomatoes for their homemade salsa come from Live Oak Farms in the Central Valley. And just like the Sanchez family, the Giampoli family is part of a multi-generational family business. Brother and sister team Bob and Donna run the family farm that was started way back in 1929 by a live oak tree. And that is still the location the family calls headquarters for the farm, which has evolved quite a bit over the years, growing and packing several different crops. But their biggest seller remains tomatoes. And you may notice harvest looks a little different here than other tomato harvests. You see, before they end up being the bright red tomatoes that Casa Sanchez uses, tomatoes here are actually harvested when they're green. 
And while it may seem a little weird to be harvesting tomatoes when they're green and not red, there is a reason why they're picked at that color. We try to pick all our fruit at the mature green stage and light pinks. Um, so this isn't too great, I mean this is perfect? Yeah. And then um, they get picked in a, in a bucket, loaded into our gondolas and taken to our packing shed for packing. Typically what we do is in order to assist in the ripening process of the tomatoes, we put them in a room of this type and we emit ethylene gas. This product was packed five days ago and it was green and it's going to El Paso, but the particular customer wants a lot of color. You know, so I'll, I set this, I'll set this load at 54 degrees and just let it ride, and it should be full red by the time it gets to El Paso. And with control over the ripening factor, the farm can practically custom harvest tomatoes depending on how ripe the end user, like Casa Sanchez, wants them. After the tomatoes are harvested, they're trucked into headquarters where they are double washed and then meticulously sorted by workers who are looking for top quality, size, and green color. During the peak season, they're harvesting and processing nearly 700,000 pounds of tomatoes a day here for customers all across the United States. Two families, two long histories in the world of food, and one connection. And just like the vines on a tomato plant, they're interlaced in a special way that they hope others can savor as well. I enjoy the people in the industry. They're very sincere, they're very genuine. And it all, it all works. We, well, we try to make what well, does work. It looks like there's another generation coming behind us, so there should be somebody there to keep going. <laughs>